So after taking so many pictures of Comet 3 Atlas and after seeing the Comet 3 Atlas several times, here is what we know now. The 3A Atlas is definitely looks bigger than the neighboring stars when you are looking at it, like visually, right? When you take a look at it, you can see the 3A Atlas comet is looking bigger than the stars around it. It is also brighter compared to those stars. Generally, it is uh, didn't pass any bright star, but it is definitely, you can see, the brightness in the Comet 3 Atlas. It is a bit colorful because I took all the filters away from my camera. I didn't put even IR UV filter, which we normally put to reduce uh, the unwanted stuff coming into the camera to improve the contrast. I even took that away with just camera, like how we see the pictures with our eyes and telescope. Right, so just black, just a RGB camera and telescope. So I can see colors there. I don't know whether the color is from the dust or the coma around it or the structure of the comet. Anyway, it's colorful. It is spinning. I think that is also definitely appears to be correct based on all the data that we have seen. It is spinning this way, right, clockwise. Maybe if I invert the pictures, they'll become counterclockwise. But anyway, it is spinning one way or other way, counterclockwise for now, let's say. It's not spinning this way, right? Most of the planets are rotating on themselves, like onto themselves. But this one is spinning this way, right? You don't see a whole lot of objects spinning this way. Maybe there are some asteroids, we don't know, um, but even the asteroid that I have seen is actually spinning this way, but not this way, right? So that's maybe odd. Someone will correct me on that one, but that's what we have seen so far. When you visually see it, it might be moving slowly, right? But it, it may not be moving like really fast, but you could see moving for sure. Uh, within a minute, you should see a different shape or a different position. So you could make out that, yep, it is moving, right? It's not moving too slow, right? It definitely it is moving within that one minute window. And the last part that I wanted to share that with you today, I wanted you to see to yourself and make your own mind, make up your own mind because I did four times sharpening. So if I do more than that, it is going to hallucinate and create unwanted structure. So I took the sharpening to a place where I could see the structure, but I don't want to overdo it to a point where what I'm doing makes no sense. So I will show you the picture before and after, and if you can see those two, you can see it has some structure to it. If you have not subscribed to my channel, uh, please click on the subscribe button and notifications so you get the notification whenever I post the new video. Let me share the pictures. So here are the several pictures that I took. I stacked and processed them to make it a bit faster. So I cropped the picture and as much as I cropped the picture just to see the comet, I have all these colors in this picture which are distracting the image. So I went ahead and adjusted the colors a little bit so that they don't show up. That is called color, uh, color reduction process which I applied so it Okay, so that's the, that's the comet. I'm 100% buying to that shape of the comet now. It is going to look like this one somewhere other way, right? The shape is looking 
like something is flying behind the comet in one of the pictures, right? I will slow it down to a point where let's go picture by picture and then we'll process these. So this is one where you're seeing a whole bunch of fireball kind of going back. Okay, this is not a good picture. It's no, it's not very much high resolution. This is something I want you to remember. Okay, so this picture is picture number 14. Okay. So I did a color reduction. I did more sharpening. I increased the brightness and I color corrected again. I'll directly go there. I'll show you the pictures. So this is the one where I reduce the colors so that you can still see a lot of contrast. Try to keep the picture in the middle. Okay, and I'll try to zoom in. So this has quite a bit of structure to it. Let me play it quickly. Let me zoom out too. So when you're seeing this in the sky, this is what it is doing. It's actually spinning really furiously and making a mess out of that area, I guess. That is probably the visual if you go near this area. You don't, you can't go very near to this one. This is going to be probably a lot of dust, smoke, CO2, I don't know what it is, but anyway. So that's the visual I wanted you to see. And then let's slow it down and zoom in. So this is the first one. This definitely has a structure where the smoke kind of dust kind of thing is behind. Lot of stuff behind. I hope you can see the contrast in the back. I hope I didn't make it too dark in the background. This is not very good. And this is the most interesting structure. Definitely there is some artifacts of sharp over sharpening there. Yep, there is something to some structure to it, some definition to it, right? And this is also kind of very interesting. And this is quite a lot interesting. So definitely these are sharpening artifacts, so take it with a grain of salt. Uh, but we need to see what we need to see to understand what's going on here. So let's go a little slow. Let me see if this is it's still too fast. Yeah, I'm doing one second. Some of the structures have no um, focus. They're distracted. But some of them are really good. There are at least three structures that I liked from of all these pictures. I'll show you quickly what those are. So this one is a really good picture. I actually uploaded to Wikipedia. So this one, um, I don't know if I uploaded one with this car, uh, sharpening. Maybe I uploaded one without any sharpening. I don't want 
Yeah, so this is second one. And this is third one. So these three have some potentials to it, right? This picture could be something in between those three, right? It could be this, which is number 20, number 14, and number nine. These are the three pictures. So please click on the subscribe button and the notifications button. So when I post these new videos, you should be able to get the notification. Thank you for watching.